Hilla. Anne Brett Street is known as being America's very first poet. This is a major deal considering the fact that she's a woman during the Puritan period. People tend to think that women can only cook and clean, but she proved them wrong. She was very well versed in her poems. Her poetry was very simple. She wrote with incredible ease that collectively proved her high intelligence. Anne Bradstreet was married to Governor Simon Bradstreet and had children. She was able to instill in them the same teachings and moral beliefs that her father instilled in her when she was younger. Pretty amazing, right? Well, she always struggled. You see, while her husband was away on these various business trips, she suffered loneliness. Well, technically that turned out in her favor because she traded in that loneliness, pain, and suffering for a pen and paper. She used that pain and suffering to write down poetry, to create beautiful pieces of poetry. Now, I'm not going to lie. Her first collection, The Tenth Muse, Lately sprung up in America by a gentlewoman of those parts was <laughs> it was bad, but hey, I'll give it to her. She progressed as time you know moved on. She was she had this deep love for you know her religion, yet she always had this zest for trying to venture out and answering her questions about the human mind and spirit. To avoid, you know, such conflicts with the Puritan community, which was very immensely religious, her poems were where she added subtle clues about what she was really thinking, her real train of thought. To Anne Bradstreet, being a Puritan was a better way of living. You know, nowadays they'll think, oh, I can't live like a Puritan because they can't wear makeup and they can only wear the color black and they have to have their hairs in the ponytail, you know, that kind of stuff. But to Anne Bradstreet and to fellow Puritans like her, it was a better way to live. And if you really think about it, it is kind of easier. So worry about what kind of clothes you're going to wear and all that kind of stuff. They didn't focus on none of that materialistic things. And because of her indifference... You know, to materialistic items, it makes her an awesome role model. I mean, even now, it makes her very awesome. She was a talented woman, all in all, who broke barriers. And just by staying true to who she is, whether it was being a wife, a mother, a woman who people don't even think would be the kind of poetic person she really is, her real train of thought and her deep religious beliefs. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.